If the sun's mass magically became 10 times what it is today, it would be a massive, short-lived star, thousands of times brighter than our sun. Not a gentle upgrade. On the main sequence, luminosity grows fast with mass roughly L M so a 10 solar mass star would be over 3,000 times as luminous. That would shove the habitable zone tens of astronomical units outward and fry Earth in an instant. And there's more. That brighter star would also live a blink of cosmic time. Stellar lifetimes shrink steeply with mass approx TM. So a 10 solar mass star lives only tens of millions of years, far too brief for complex life to evolve the way it did here. In short, brighter, hotter, and much shorter lived. Okay, what about the planets? You can't just multiply planetary radius by 10 and expect reality to behave. Gas giants don't grow linearly at mass and gravity compresses them. At a point, higher mass can actually make a planet smaller, not bigger. So Jupiter times 10 in mass wouldn't automatically turn into a shining star. To ignite hydrogen fusion, you need about 0.08 solar masseuse, roughly 80 Jupiter masseuse, far above a 10 Jupiter. Deuterium fusion, the brown dwarf flash starts around approximately 13 Jupiter ma- So only if Jupiter hit that range would it briefly burn deuterium, not become a true sun, and the orbits. Kepler's law tells us orbital periods depend on central mass P I M. If the sun's mass jumped, orbital speeds and year lengths would change, planets would race faster, and the whole dynamical balance could get chaotic. Could any reasonable scaling make any planet ignite into a star? Short answer, only if you crank masses up by orders of magnitude, not a tidy times 10. And that would utterly rearrange or destroy the system. For example, a sun at about 10 solar masses would probably end its life in a core collapse supernova someday, not a mellow cooldown in 2000 years. Big increases in mass and radius aren't simple cosmetic edits, they change internal physics. Radiation, lifetimes, and orbits. 10 bigger is a fun image, but in reality, you'd get a hotter, shorter-lived star. Compressed planets that don't scale linearly, chaotic orbits, and almost no chance for Earth-like life to survive that makeover. Would you rather live under a brighter but short-lived sky, or keep our slow, steady sun for billions of years? Type bright or steady in the comments, I'll read them.